not allow um, uh, such a princely son of Igbo land to be criminalized. Some, instead of princely. Yeah, princely. Some, sir, some of, Igbos are of, already instead agitating. Of, uh, instead of uh, giving him government protection for the contributions he's making towards uh, national development. So there is truly an ethnic coloration to this because uh, there is agitation in social media and the public space that uh, he's being hounded, uh, he's being uh, persecuted because he's an Igbo, considering the fact that uh, he, the, the bank is actually owing him. I think the, the, the bank is resorting to self-help. That's what I would say. I don't want to go into ethnic uh, coloration to this uh, uh, dispute because uh, uh, I've been involved in this matter for about uh, five years now. When this matter first reared up, uh, he discussed that with me. And uh, I could see that there was nothing the bank could do to him legally. That's why they are resorting to uh, monkey tactics. You know, if they, if they are sure of what they are doing, they should win in the courts. They have not won in the courts. So, so what, and if they cannot pay the judgment debt, uh, uh, the in Nelson Chukuma uh, with frivolous uh, charges will not be a solution to the problem. Okay, because so, that money, they will pay it to him. So where do you see this matter going now from here? It will be resolved. Uh, I've just seen him here at the airport on his way to Lagos uh, with those who have taken him away. And I told him to remain strong. Uh, we are standing with him. We shouldn't panic. And he's there. You were there. He was telling me he was innocent of any allegation. Yeah, yeah. He was actually he was strongly stating his innocence. innocence. You know, and I assure you that uh, they will take him to Lagos. They will release him. It, is, uh, it must be granted. But this is not a simple business disagreement. They don't need to criminalize it. Um, in one of the, the discussions I had with him when this matter started, Guaranteed Trust Bank shamelessly claimed that the register where these transactions were recorded got burnt when the office got burnt. So who will Nigerians believe now? Nobody ever heard that guaranteed trust bank got gutted by fire and only that register got burnt. Because they know that that register proves innocence, innocence, uh, innocence. you know. Uh, that register proves Chief Chukuma's innocence. And they, they claimed that that register had been burnt. So you can see that GT Bank at all material times are covering the truth with a view to running away from the arms of the law. They cannot, because they must produce that register they said was burnt. That is the crux of the dispute. If they cannot produce it, they cannot make any claim validly against Innocent Chuma in any criminal proceeding. So it is simple for them to allege he has done this and then claim that the register that will prove his innocence has been burnt. When you destroy material evidence in the law court, you cannot prove anything. So the Guaranteed Trust Bank has destroyed the material evidence, you know, uh, with which to uh, uh, prove uh, uh, innocent guilty of the allegation. So they have to go and start looking for money to pay to innocent Chukuma. They can enter into agreement to pay him instrumentally instead of uh, telling Nigerian that he's a thief. Okay. Somebody, somebody who is manufacturing, manufacturing brand new vehicles in Nigeria is a thief. Nobody believes them. Okay, from your brief interaction with him, he has been held since yesterday. I was there in the house when uh, the place was besieged and eventually he was taken away. Uh, did he tell you that uh, they have told him if any single offense no, they are holding they him for? Not, 